stay straight press up the flight. Minus thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Stage one present flight. Fifteen. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift off the Falcon 9. Drop AVI RC and GNC and proceed to procedure 3.170 for post launch flight operation. GC, move to section post launch pad operations to secure the pad on net 8. Moving to post launch pad operations. Stage one propulsion, stage one. Two plus one minute and 17 seconds into flight. You've heard the call out. Falcon 9 performance is nominal as we head downrange over the Pacific Ocean, flying south from the launch site at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. We're passing through the region of maximum dynamic pressure right now. This is where the high pressure of the atmosphere combines with the speed of the rocket to provide the greatest stresses on the Falcon 9 vehicle. We throttle the engines down as we pass through this phase and throttle them back up as we proceed on into orbit. The major activity coming up will be main engine cutoff at T plus 2 minutes and 25 seconds. We'll listen for that, followed shortly after by stage separation and then ignition of the second stage engine. Let's listen in as the Falcon 9 continues to head downrange, preparing for shutdown of the first stage and stage separation and ignition of the second stage. and 48 seconds into flight. We've had successful shutdown separation of the Falcon 9 first stage. The second stage engine is lit, you can see it there. We're coming up on three minutes as we head into low Earth orbit. Everything looking good. So as you just heard from John Insprucker, it, so it sounds like the uh, Falcon 9 first stage has successfully separated from the second stage and the second stage engine has successfully ignited. It means we're on our way to orbit. <laughs> so, uh, Following that awesome success, there's still a lot more to go. Um, one of the cool things that's about to happen is we are going to begin the recovery operations, or rather the first stage flyback operations. Uh, that's going to consist of a uh, that flip maneuver where the rocket is moving in one direction and it will actually flip itself over. Uh, then it will begin, it will light the engines on the back end and that will begin a boost back burn to bring the first stage back towards the drone ship. Uh, next up, I think we have a re-entry burn. Uh, and that'll slow down the rocket from about two kilometers per second uh, down to one kilometer per second. And it's still really fast, but any sort of decrease of energy that you can get in moving that direction is, is going to be better for decreasing the aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle. 
And the last and final burn, coming up just a little bit later, is going to be the landing burn. That's when the first stage, uh, right as it gets close to the deck of Just Read the Instructions, slows itself down, opens up its landing legs, and prepares for a soft touchdown on the deck of the autonomous spaceport drone ship. And just to remind you guys, this is an experimental secondary part of this mission today, but obviously something we all get really, really excited about here. Um, but the primary mission is uh, launching these satellites, right? Mm -hmm. I believe we, we've already separated the ferry. Uh, and that's to get rid of the excess weight, uh, the excess mass, rather, so that for the same force you can accelerate faster. Uh, it's, again, moving at eight kilometers per second is the final goal uh, to be circling the Earth, um, which is, again, ten times the speed of a rifle bullet. Uh, as much help as you can get to minimize the amount of mass that you need to accelerate to that speed is better. Yeah, the fairing is kind of like, a, it's just a big windshield for the satellite. Satellites really aren't built to withstand intense aerodynamic forces because they're meant to operate inside the vacuum of space. Um, so what we do is we lose that fairing as soon as we get out of the atmosphere, and that's where we are right now. Yes, and so, oh, look at that. You can see that the first stage grid fins are deployed. Now those grid fins are powered by nitrogen thrusters, and they're used to actually steer and guide the rocket back down to Earth. Uh, they're useful both at high speeds when you're moving at very supersonic and again when you're starting to move slower, uh, but not when you're going through the transition of the speed of sound. They become less helpful. All right, we're going to go to John I. <laughs> we're at T plus five and a half minutes into the flight. Second stage continuing to head downrange as we go into what will be the first of two orbits, the low Earth orbit followed by a coast phase, then a reignition of the second stage engine later on this morning to get the 10 Iridium satellites into their final orbit. Now currently you can see the nozzle, well you can't see the nozzle of the second stage because we're showing you the first stage right now. Grid fins are deployed. We're coming up on the next first stage event which will be in about 17 seconds which is beginning of the entry burn which will then be followed shortly after that by the landing burn. On the right, you can see the second stage engine nozzle that's currently glowing red. That's typical for the upper stage engine. Everything's looking good right now. Give me a second. Let me see how things are going on the first stage. And we're coming up on the engines. We have boost back going. You can hear the applause in the background from the SpaceX team gathered around the Mission Control Center as we're watching the three Merlin engines on the first stage light and we have got shutdown for the boost back burn. So currently we're coming up on T plus seven minutes. Second stage continues to head into orbit. First stage is coming back to the drone ship. Let's go bound to the floor for the landing burn and the entry into orbit of the second stage. So as you just saw, the uh, re-entry burn for the first stage has just completed and looks successful. Uh, you can still see camera footage from the first stage descending down. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to maintain video all the way down to the drone ship. What a great shot that is. It's beautiful. Now, so as you know, sometimes we lose that video in the drone ship. There's a lot of vibrations happening there. Um, we're going to try our best to keep that link. And hopefully, once that landing burn hits, we'll catch it. We'll see it visually. And if all goes well, Falcon 9 will be standing proud there on the deck of our drone ship. Uh, you may have noticed little puffs of uh, what looked like smoke coming out from between the grid fins every once in a while. Um, those are part of the attitude control system. Uh, I, I think this is the, the, the landing burn. The landing Looks like the landing burn has just started, uh, so we should be coming right down on the deck of Just Read the Instructions. Uh, this is a single engine landing burn, so it's a, a slower uh, decrease in speed. Wow. You can actually see the deck of the drone ship right now. <laughs> <laughs>
excitement. Um, it's important to remember this is not the primary part of the mission, uh, the Iridium mission. Uh, we'll go up to John and I to hear what the status of that is. We're at T plus 9 minutes and 14 seconds, and we have just shut down the second stage engine. Falcon 9 second stage carrying 10 Iridium satellites has gone into the parking orbit. You also heard the cheering and you saw as we actually saw the first stage come all the way back to the drone ship. Didn't have the video dropouts like we've had in the past so it was an amazing ride with the first stage. For the moment we're going to pause for a second, give you the view there of the engine while we take a look at how the orbit is for the second stage. And the answer is, it looks like we've got a good parking orbit for the Falcon 9 second stage. We're into a coast period now that's going to last up until about T plus 52 and a half minutes. So in essence, about 42 minutes from now before we relight the second stage engine. So currently, it's been a great morning so far, but the payoff is still yet to come. We're going to continue the webcast through the deployment of the Iridium satellites, but the team's going to drop off for the moment. We'll leave you with the animation graphics, and we'll come back as we get ready for the relight of the second stage engine coming up in about 42 minutes from now. So with that, Falcon 9 first stage is back on the drone ship. We had a great ride there. Second stage, a great ride into the parking orbit with 10 Iridium satellites on top. And now we're waiting to see as we go through the rest of the morning here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California.